Yo, what is good everyone? I'm Chris and we're Endless Sauce here and today we are bringing you our new Dragon Ball Z What If. And this What If is a, it's a different concept from how Dragon Ball originally was. This What If is, what if Gohan was the main character? So we decided to make this, you know, just because we, we want to see a story where Goku wasn't the main thing, uh, main being. So we decided, that, you know, we're going to make Gohan the main character. So we're starting this from the beginning of Z. So yeah, um, I hope you all are ready for this. If you enjoyed this, uh, what if, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment down what you think about this what if. If you have any ideas for any other what ifs, leave it down in the comments down below, and we will make sure we read your comments. Alright, so let's get started into this what if. This what if would begin in the start of Z. The way we would change is obviously to put the main focus on Gohan. Gohan growing up is a bit different in this, in this timeline than in canon. Gohan was told many stories about his father, his father's journey when he was a kid. Hearing this makes Gohan all excited, and for a bit after he turned into the age of four, he spars with his dad, but not exactly training. So with all this, it changes Gohan's mindset. He looks up to his father more and wants to experience his own journey himself, and he enjoys fighting more than his canon self. Everything will happen the same until Piccolo kidnaps Gohan, when Piccolo claims that he will train Gohan to help him take over the world and to stop the Saiyans. Gohan cries as normal, but is but it isn't a cry of fear, but a cry of anger. He tells Piccolo that he would not train under someone who tried to kill his father years ago. He starts to argue at Piccolo, and this annoys Piccolo, to the point where he yells at Gohan and leaves him in the middle of nowhere. Around two months have passed. Gohan is able to handle himself and care for his needs. He's wandering around, and he sees a large man eating a big piece of meat. It was Yajirobe. Gohan goes to him because he knows that Yajirobe knew his father when he was a kid. They start a conversation and Gohan asks if Yajirobe if he knows where Krillin is training so that he could be of use to help fight the Saiyans while his father is gone. He takes Gohan to the lookout and Krillin is in shock to see Goku's son alone without Piccolo. He asks what happened and Gohan said that he refused to train under Piccolo since what he tried to do to his father. Gohan begs to let him train with the Z fighters and to not let his mother know and they allow it since Gohan seems really wanting to help out and be like the fighters. So Gohan starts to train with the other Z fighters while Piccolo trains alone. During the year of training, Gohan ends up asking Kami if they could use the hyperbolic time chamber and he asks how he knows that and Gohan says that his dad told him that there was a room where a year in there would be a day in the real world. Kami says that they won't be able to handle the entire year but Gohan states that they don't need to stay the entire year and only for as long as they could and having someone else to go with can help them not go crazy. So Kami allows this and Gohan goes in with Krillin for close to 3 months while Tiango and Yamcha goes in for close to 2 months. After the year has passed of everyone training, here are the power levels. Gohan at 1100, Krillin at 1900, Yamcha at 1600, and Tien at 2000, and Chaozu at 700. And Piccolo's at 3600. Now everyone is stronger than in canon but Piccolo. He only got a small increase compared to the others. The reason is this is in, in canon, Piccolo spent a lot of his time just training Gohan, which he couldn't get much gain, but in this time, like, he doesn't have to spend his time to train Gohan, but yet Piccolo is training alone. So I would say his power increased, but not by much. Now the Saiyans arrive, and the Z fighters all head to the location, and Piccolo see, and sees Piccolo. But Piccolo and Gohan gives each other stares and not saying a single word. Nappa and Vegeta arrives and plant the Cybermen as usual, and all the Z fighters are able to fight Cybermen alone, and Yamcha doesn't die by a Cyberman. So now all the Z fighters try to fight against the mighty Nappa, and Nappa has to put more of a fight. Nappa then uses a giant storm, and with his full power, and the Z fighters weren't ready for the attack, that it kills Chaozu and damages the other. As soon as Tien gets up, he looks around to not see Chaozu, and he cannot sense his energy, and then he goes to the conclusion that he is gone. His rage overcomes him, and he charges Nappa alone. With this, he gets an edge over Nappa, hurting him pretty well, but Nappa gives him a strong punch in the stomach and blasts a key, key blast that kills Tien. Yamcha, Yamcha screams out for Tien, but he isn't responding, and this worries him. After seeing those two getting killed, Gohan blo Gohan's blood starts to boil, and his power begins to charge up, and Vegeta notices this, and is interested by this sane hybrid. Vegeta then t states to Nappa that he kills, he can kill everyone but the child, so he charges at Yamcha and Piccolo. Yamcha is drawn by fear, and with that, it leads him to his downfall. He ends up meeting the same fate that Tien had in canon, with him losing his arm. Gohan says that it's enough, and he goes to fight Nappa, and Krillin joins him as well. All three of the fighters gang up on Nappa, fighting him. Nappa causes a pressure wave to push everyone 
and he's about to shoot a Bomber XD aiming at Piccolo. But then Nappa is hit in the back by Gohan's Kamehameha, and this angers Nappa, and he shoots the Bomber XD at Gohan, and Gohan can't block it. A big dust cloud appears after the impact, and as soon as the dust clears, there's a body figure being seen, but it's not Gohan's. The body that protected Gohan wasn't the green Namekian that we all know and love, but in fact it was Krillin protecting Gohan. Krillin couldn't take the blast all the way and ends up dying, and Gohan tries to talk to Krillin, telling him not to give up, but Gohan notices that he is gone, and Gohan starts to cry after losing everyone he trained with the, blast with the past year. Piccolo just stands there, thinking it's all over. He yells at Gohan, telling him to stop crying, and if they, if they want to kill Nappa, they're going to have to work together, but Gohan isn't listening. His power starts to skyrocket, and it breaks. Vegeta's scouter and Gohan and Aura flashes yellow. Gohan then charges Nappa, pounding him, and repeatedly he slams him into the ground and charges a Kamehameha with all his power and blasts Nappa, and that blast completely erased him. This shocks Piccolo and Vegeta with this kid's power. Then finally arrives Goku, just seeing the power within his son, but Goku also is angry about all his friends dying. He goes to, Ang he goes to Gohan, giving him a sense of being. He sees Krillin's lifeless body thanking him for saving his son and apologizing for not coming sooner. He tells Pic Gohan and Piccolo to leave, but Gohan says no because he wanted to help him just in case he he can't beat him alone. So Goku accepts this to watch and only jumps in just in case if he needs it. And Piccolo goes with them, but Gohan is still iffy about Piccolo. So Goku and Vegeta go to the deserted island and prepare to fight, and this fight goes similar, but Goku is more enraged for Krillin's death, and since he died once already, Goku thinks he's gone forever. The fight continues until the point where Vegeta goes to Zaru and Goku is trying to charge a spirit ball but it's struggling. At this point, Gohan and Piccolo steps in to, to distract Vegeta while Goku charges up a spirit ball. After a while, Goku has the spirit bomb already and he is about to throw it. Gohan sees that and uses the solo effect to blind Vegeta so that he couldn't dodge the attack. Vegeta ends up getting hit by the spirit bomb and a big explosion is made by the impact of the spirit bomb. Everyone is pushed back by the pressure wave. Vegeta is reverted to his normal form. Goku too exhausted to move. Piccolo walks to Vegeta ready to end him, but then he is kicked aside by Gohan. He tells Piccolo that he will not kill him. Vegeta is coughing, having the most, most of his body hurting, telling Gohan that it's a mistake to keep him alive. But Gohan says that he is only letting him live because it's what his father would do, and Vegeta leaves. Everyone's going, everyone gets to the hospital to recover besides Piccolo. He leaves to his own thinking. Goku isn't as damaged as in canon, so it takes less time to recover. They still have to talk about what to do with their dead friends, since some of them already had, was revived by the Earth Dragon Balls. But Mr. Popo arrives to tell him about the planet Namek. Boma built the spaceship, but Goku asks if she can put a room for gravity training like he experienced in King Kai's place, so the ship would take longer to build than usual during this time the ship was being built. Gohan and Goku were training together. Chi Chi tried to imply learning into Gohan's training, but Gohan refused. Gohan blamed himself for Krillin and his friends dying because he wasn't strong enough, so he needed to train harder and get stronger. During the time training, Goku talks to Gohan about Piccolo, saying that they could ask him to come with us, but Gohan is unsure about this. He asks his father how he can forgive him after trying after everything he tried to do, but Goku says that it was his father, not Piccolo himself. Gohan has time to think about this and Goku goes to talk to Piccolo. Goku arrives to Piccolo and asks him to go with them and Gohan to go to Namek. And at first Piccolo says no because of Gohan, but Goku convinces him, telling him that Gohan will try to forgive him. Finally, their, their ship is ready and everyone gets going on and here are the parallels before leaving Earth. Goku at 11,000, Gohan at 1,500, and Piccolo at 4,100. So guys, that's where we're going to end off the first part. I hope you enjoyed. We hope this concept of making Gohan the main character and how we change up his whole character makes it more interesting for this what if. But if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share this with all your friends. Uh, leave in the comments what you think about this what if. If you have any idea for any what if for Dragon Ball, Attack on Titan, My Hero, anything, leave it down in the comments down below and we will reply to you. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.